Hello class, and welcome back to one more video, I think. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of work. All right, so this video we're going to talk about, we've already talked about managed beans in the previous videos. We've talked about how things get managed when it's sent over. So what are managed beans? Uh, managed beans are, nope, it's not the cat in the background if you've heard that. It's a, managed bean is a regular Java class. So it's kind of how like we've set everything else up before setting up a Java class. We set up a package and what goes with the package is some dot class dot Java file. It's uh, commonly used to hold form data. It also can contain business logic and create it and manage by JSF. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we already have this simple XML. I'm gonna shut this up, turn that off. Um, close it up for now. We'll create a couple other forms that go along with all this to make it work. So first thing we're going to do is go into Java resources, go to source. We're going to right click and create a package. Remember, you could just go straight up here and create the package, but I'm just going to go in here. I will call it com.ccac.jsf. Uh, hello. Or actually, we'll call it um, dot my first JSP app. Pretty simple. Yeah, finish. All right. So first thing we're going to do is do new class. We're going to do just like we did before. We're going to call it something. In this case, I'm going to call it student. This is going to be my class that we use here. Oops. And just hit finish. All this looks pretty much the same. Now, I'm going to go down here. We're going to use an annotation that we need called manage bean. But in order to do that, we need to import library. Now, here's the tricky thing is when you look at this, you see two different um, libraries, one called import manage bean for Java X, Java X dot annotation. And then there's one for Java X dot faces dot bean. So that could be a little tricky. What do you want? We want the faces because that's what we're working with. So we'll import that library and that should work fine now. So first thing that we're going to do is declare our um, variables that we use in a form that we've already created, which was the uh, first name and last name. So I will do private string first name and then private string last name and then if you add it more onto that onto that form you could add more information so i'll do last name all right so now i need to create a new argument constructor we'll do public student and just leave it like that then i'll define the getter and setter methods like we've used in this class before public string get first name so all this right here is stuff that we've already used so this ain't nothing new um, get first name we'll do return first name Good. now we'll do um, public void we need to do a set we already get it a getter we need to do a setter and we'll accept the parameter called string First name, remember you can name it what you want, but make it something that is recognizable what the heck it is. So in this case, we'll do this dot first name equals first name. Reason why we're using this is because we're using first name twice. All right. All right so now if I wanted to do public string get last name, Turn uh, last name. Oops. Now we need to set it. Do public. Same thing. Set last name. String last name. Come up here. Do this. That last name equals last name. There you go. That right there is our managed beam. Remember, the managed beam is what stores the information so that's why the getter and setter is here so i'm gonna close that out and hit yes so now we have the manage being done with now if you want to add more content to that 
on your form you can uh let's see let's go back to we had the simple form or not simple form yeah we had this guy right here so we're going to create something similar with the uh, student form so i'm thinking if i could copy and paste this to a degree and then use it so i'm going to create a new web content i'm going to create a new HTML file i'm going to call this student underscore form dot x html spell it right like i don't hit finish i'm going to erase all this mumbo jumbo stuff here perfect hit paste all right so we know that we need a first name last name but it's going to be a little bit different so we have first name h input sorry input text first yes yeah, so it's going to be a little different than the other one so let's do this so let's do this we have input text and we're going to put let's see here value equals quotation mark pound we're going to do student dot first name what are we doing differently here student references what student references the name of the uh, um, bean managed bean we call it student I have to use uppercase I'm thinking All right, so we have a student first name, we have our BR. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the last name here. Oops, not done yet. I need to have that guy right there or it won't work. So let's copy this. Paste it here. This will be last name this time. Um, we have input value student last name. So let me just change it first to last. All right, so now we have that. We have our BR. We have our command button, by equals submit. Now we need to add an action, what happens afterwards. Because before we clicked on it in another video and nothing happened because we didn't have an action to it. So we're gonna call it student dot response. Student underscore response. Actually no, we'll just call student response. response perfect uh form body i think we're good here i just saying we haven't done anything with it yet no big deal so we need to create a student form there so let's do a uh, new html file we'll call it student underscore response dot s h g m l perfect all right i'm just going to raise this crap here i'm just going to copy over stuff we've already used which makes sense why recreate the will when it's already been created all right so we got that there we'll come down here and do h colon head title uh, student confirmation page all right, we did title. Um, let's see, we need to end the head. Good. All right, great. So we have that going there. Now we come down here and do H body. I want Emma. There we go. I want Emma HTML. Remember it this time because last time I didn't. Inside here, I need my response. So I'm just going to say the student is confirm then we have to do pound student name of the bean i think i did my number okay student dot first name and then do hashtag student dot last name I close out of that yes okay so what i needed to do is i actually needed to go back and change some values here I had you before put the S as uppercase. We need it to be lowercase, case sensitive. So you'll want to go back in student form dot HTML and make those students lowercase. Same thing here. 
and the same thing in our uh, response. We might have it lowercase, set uppercase. So now if I would run my program, let's see here, run as run server. We will do faces, and then we'll do uh, student form xhml. There we go. First name Dan Rooney, and hit submit. And there you go. So student is confirmed. Dan Rooney. That is it on our lesson on this week on JSF. There is deeper discussion to go into. I wanted to get to the database. I really did. But we would need some more time. Um, right now, this is uh, just kind of a, a broad uh, step of it. Uh, if you take the uh, Java 2 class, uh, there will be a more in-depth conversation of the, uh, this um, Java server faces. So it will be greater in depth than this. But this is uh, basically... Um, setting up some forms so right now we're just learning basic html how to set up a form on a page how to submit something get a return response that's all we're doing right now in this case we added some an extra flavor to it by adding a, a managed bean in, in here so uh if you have any questions just send me a message other than that thanks for listening and have a good day